This video is best enjoyed with closed captioning turned on. TACTVIEW, the universal flight analysis tool, is about to get a major upgrade. Hi everyone, this is Juice of the Air Warfare Group, and I've been using TACTVIEW for about four years now. If you're unfamiliar with this program, I'll put some links in the description below that will help you learn more about this product that we use to emulate Air Combat Maneuvering Instrumentation, or ACMI. Of course, not everyone needs this program, but what we use it for is to review our missions in training and in combat to see where we've made mistakes and what successes we can use again. The TACVIEW review does not serve as the debrief, but we use it as a debriefing tool to validate our training and our progression as we build our skills as virtual combat aviators in DCS. But let's look at some of the upcoming features and hear from the developer himself about the quality improvements that we're going to see in 2.0. Now I'm working on the alpha version. I want to make TechView 2 usable for real. I want to move beyond the programmer prototype with clumsy shortcuts and basic functionality to a version with a proper UI and intuitive interactions. The goal is to reach what I'll call an alpha version with all the essential tools necessary for a functional debriefing. On the graphic side, I am ensuring that the battlefield is clearly represented. This includes displaying all units showing AAA and SAM's threat ranges during trails for aircraft and vehicles, visualizing bullets in motion and allowing for precise object selection. Another key aspect is getting the camera manipulation to feel smooth and ergonomic, so you can effortlessly explore the battlefield from any angle. The terrain elevation map and texture map will be tackled at a later point, as they are not critical at this stage. For now, the focus is on ensuring the core element works seamlessly. Once these pieces are in place, they form a solid foundation to build the beta version. Years of updates had made the whole menu cluttered and harder to navigate. In TagView 2, everything is grouped into logical categories so you can easily find the tools you need without hunting through scattered options. The menu is now a collapsible vertical bar that you can expand when needed or minimize into a row of icons giving you more room to focus on the debriefing view and tools. The final version will feature a high quality font and a professional icon pack to ensure a clean and polished look. For developers, the SDK provides full control over the main menu. You can customize it to your workflow by adding, removing or modifying menu items through simple add-ons, making it just as flexible as ever. In TechView 2, each window can be split into multiple viewports, letting you organize your workspace exactly how you want. You can display different types of data or perspectives side by side, whether it's detailed frame parameters, specific parts of the battlefield, or multiple points of view. If you are not satisfied with the default view, then you can create your own using custom configuration files to define layers and layouts tailored to your needs. Keep them for yourself or share them uh, with others as add-on through platforms like the Steam Workshop. I know that's a lot of information to digest and some of it could have been lost in translation, but I'm going to put a link to his blog post that you can go and find out all of the quality updates that are coming to this new program. If you have any questions, you could always leave them here on the channel. As you can imagine, you wouldn't want to use TACView for everything. Um, what I use it for is for individual training. If I'm doing a mission and I want to review the mission to see what I did right and what I did wrong, uh, what I can do better next time. But it's crucial when we're doing team training and we want to show people that are new to this or new to dogfighting, new to uh, ground attack, what they did and what it looks like from the outside picture. It gives you an outside view, it actually gives you multiple views. You can look from in the cockpit, you can see um, your uh, HUD view, you can see a lot of different stuff. And TACView 2.0 is going to make that even better. Now, how much does this cost? 
Well, for TacView 1.0 users, people that have a paid version of TacView, it's a free upgrade. There is going to be no cost. If you're looking to get this program for the first time, their website has purchase instructions. But let me tell you how I got this program. When I was in Tactical DCS and they were having a sale on TacView, we approached them because they do say if you want to get multiple copies of this license um, in a group discount, they will work with uh, units and organizations. And that's how we saved. So if you're in a military sim organization or a group of flying buddies um, that want to go in together and get this program, that's the best way to purchase it. I would always wait for a sale and I'd always try to do it as a bulk order. Um, and I think you can save up to about 70%. Um, it's a really good program for me. It's not for everybody. It's a valuable tool if you use it in the right way. Google is your friend. If you have any questions about the product at all, drop them in a comment down below. And you can always go to the support page on TacView and ask questions there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one. Everybody stay safe. This is Juice, out.